Hey, good morning guys. Welcome back to Mage's Library. It's Alex. As always, thanks for spending some of your time with me. I'd like to share with you uh, what I did yesterday. Uh, we've all been there. We've all got to go to work and one or two of your coworkers call off and your day's miserable because you're short staffed and you've got to do more work and you know those guys weren't sick. I was that guy yesterday. I picked up my phone. I called myself. I'm my own boss. I told him, hey, I'm not coming to work today. Found out the family was coming over. We had nothing planned. It became a barbecue. My brother-in-law and I got to play Star Wars Armada. Uh, after I kicked his butt at that, uh, he turned around and just completely obliterated Alaria the War Leader with his uh, Selesnia deck. So I got my just desserts. And uh, now I'm back to the grind, guys. Here it is. I got my stack of orders that came in when I was in dreamland and I'm back on the grind. Uh, I don't want you guys to think it's all bad and that I have all these terrible things to say about it because I don't, uh, again, I can't, it's totally awesome to be able to just call off and do something every once in a blue moon when your heart desires it and you get to spend time with the people that matter most in your life. Um, there's, there's nothing I'm more grateful for. I don't have to, I didn't have to feel guilty about it. I didn't have to feel like I was screwing over my team of whatever any of my prior jobs were. It was just me. And now, now I've got to make up for the lost time in a manner of speaking. Um, I need to make sure all these orders go out. Uh, tonight I'm doing some work on the Theros set. I need to get my common and common play sets restocked. Uh, I'm going to take the opportunity to make a couple uh, player decks. Uh, I'll get that made as fast as possible and get an idea of what I, I want out of those and then uh, give you guys the chance to see uh, the cards in action uh, but otherwise the other or the other opportunity you're going to get here is to have an idea of the physical labor that goes into it I can't count the number of times that I picked up a collection of Magic the Gathering cards because the, this particular individual had told me they had decided that they were going to be uh, an eBayer or a TCG seller, uh, whatever. Uh, and they, they didn't realize the amount of work that goes into it. I've mentioned it before. You have to have a place to keep a ton of cards. Uh, you have to know where all your cards are. When you buy the cards, whatever cards you buy, you have to take the time to get them organized and put them away correctly. Um, even if you're just buying them out of the booster boxes, uh, pack fresh, you, you still have to get those organized. That takes time. Uh, this particular individual that I'm thinking of right now, when I bought his collection of cards, they were in giant Tubblewares. And it it was just, it was like, it was just utter chaos. The cards were shuffled around and some of them were in penny sleeves and it was just, just, I, I, I couldn't understand any of his process and I don't think he did either. That's why he ended up quitting. Um, most of those cards ended up just having to go to the trash can because he would just throw things in there. Um, I have no idea how many boxes he bought. I got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of copies of the same rares so he was obviously breaking cases but at some point he just the cases ended up breaking that dude and he quit so here it is uh this is this is only the first part of it as far as packing the orders go i uh, have them pulled they still have to make their way into the little envelopes and send those off to the post office. So, again, thanks for sharing your time with me and, and just know that yesterday I got to be that guy at work that you hate that called off in the middle of the shift or before the shift started and, and you knew I wasn't sick. I was just at home having hamburgers and playing some magic. Come back soon, guys.